up guys welcome back it's nick up here and maple motors is over there <laughs> i came over to this parking lot here today to do a test drive video uh and do the walk around because it's been spitting rain and this was a good awning area so today we're going to be taking it down the road point out plus so you know what you're getting there's detailed pictures financing and shipping on our website that's maplemotors.com course I'll try not to miss anything I try to give a honest video all the way around we do that with every car that comes through if you don't mind hit subscribe share for now it's about that time let's go for a ride okay so we're getting ready to take off here Looking on the dash it's in good shape a little wavy there it's a cap, that's why somebody put it over the original dash. The original dash is cracked, you can see it there. As I pulled it up, but that's a cap that you can get online. It does start up easy. I'll show you the mileage. It's still hard to stand behind mileage on a 74 model. When you get closer to the 90s, you can. The wipers, they cut off whenever you do, so. You gotta cut them off at the bottom. You gotta play that game, just like the game of the horn. Do you think the horn works on this one? That looks like an early 90s or a late 80s steering wheel. Uh, blower motor should be on now, but it's not. Oh, just high works. All the other ones do not work, but high does. I can actually feel the heat. Radio. Man, she's looking pretty old. Where in the world is the power button on this? Um, this maybe. Okay, it's that one right there. Doesn't say anything about power, but it did cut on. Let's see. Huh. No sound. Speaking of that, where's the speaker? I guess it would be this one in the middle. Radio does not work. Let's cut her off. Turn signals. The light is out on the right side. You can hear it though. I don't know if y'all can, I can hear it. On the dash, full pressure gauge is moving. Engine temperature is up. Gas gauge is close to full. And of course the interior. I love the seat. It's been redone. See how nice that is. And the headliner has been redone. All right, last but least, but about the horn. Let's see. There's no wire running through, so nope, it's not gonna honk. It doesn't work, it's not hooked up. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. All right, so this one does have seat belts and they're in good shape. You see, they look clean. They work well too. Reverse. Neutral and dry. I'm not used to turning left. They usually come right out of the lot. adjusted right over there and you got to manually adjust it so here we go of course anything I see you'll know about it this is the first time I've driven this truck all right as we're going down the road here shifting out good she's going nice and straight getting in your brakes brakes feel good getting in the throttle Kickdown is hooked up. That's your passing gear when you floor it. And then the brake's pretty good there. They're stopping just fine. One thing I have noticed is the uh, speedometer is not working at all. It's not moved off of zero. 
far as steering, as soon as I'm turning, it's turning. It's nice and tight. And the suspension feels pretty good. Little spot on the bridge here. Yeah. Pretty soft, feels good. Wait for the road to open up here and then we'll shoot over to the parking lot. I just want to light the undercarriage up, get a couple outside shots for you. And then we'll head back to the lot. And that's when I'm going to be picking out the flaws. I want to look at the paint. I want to check for rust and dents. And we'll go all the way around the truck and then we'll finish with the interior. this truck I want to light it all up for you Temperatures in good operating range. Oil pressure is above half way on on the gauge here. Looks to be around 40, I would say. Uh, when you put her in gear, I'd say around 30, because 60 is over here, and the halfway mark should be 30. Got a chamois in here in my bag. If you want to see what I use to make these videos? Look below in the description. I have Amazon links to everything. Ended up being a decent day. It's just barely misting outside. Honestly, that makes a better video just because of the lighting. You can really see everything.
truck here is probably going to sell pretty fast just how nice and easy it is to drive it's just ready to hop in and take off bump in the road we're about to hit I'll point it out for you right here not too bad I mean pretty good for a jacked up Chevy so I'm getting ready to pull back into the car lot here I hope you enjoyed this video I may cruise on down to Brian's Motorsports I haven't been down there in a, in a few days so I want to see what they've got going on that's a car customization shop right beside Maple Motors. It's within walking distance. You might want to check it out when you come up here. Okay. Like I said, we'll run down here. Brian's and see what he's got going on. I never get to go in this way. That's what I'm going to today. So he's got a showroom up front, just full of stuff, wheels and tires and accessories. And when you come around back here, he's got trucks that he has customized. He does SEMA shows. You may see some of these fancy trucks on other YouTube channels, but not this one. <laughs> you can watch his YouTube channel, Brian's Motorsports, BMS, a whole slew of Chevy sitting here. Well, check that out, man. This will fit right in. That's Brian himself there. He's coming over here. What's he going to say today? What's up, Brian? So, hello there, uh, Maple Motors. We have uh, uh, Jimmy Day here for all you, all you LS people. I'm gonna cover up my shirt because I got yep. I got Ford Fest on my shirt. I got Ford Fest, <laughs> but he runs uh, Holly LS Fest and Bowling Green. Does a yeah. lot of your car shows for you that Sweet. Maple Motors and all yeah. these nice cars come from with the LSs and built cars. So MapleMotors.com, you know Nick. Just keep following the music. <laughs> we'll keep working. Y'all keep watching. Keep making them videos, Brian. We need some more content from you. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're gonna keep going. All right, guys. We Good have to, to you, cruise on through. Thank y'all. Yeah. See ya cruise on through. He's got some more stuff sitting around out here. See why I stop by every once in a while? There's all kinds of stuff. You'll meet some pretty cool people down here too. And of course, there's more stuff over here. So wheels, tires, parts, accessories, new, old school, it doesn't really matter. He'll work on it for you. He's got the whole front end of that Ford tore off. I'm sure it's gonna be custom. All right, guys, look. Another one hidden off in the corner. Heading back to the lot, picking out the flaws is coming up next. guys it's Nick and Maple Motors is over there but it's been kind of misting here and there today so the walk around is gonna be right here we're gonna be picking out the flaws showing you everything that way you know what you're getting before you get here it should be pretty easy on this truck it's nice and clean we'll go ahead and get started up here in the front front bumper on this one's not perfect just a little bit hazy you can see it's older it's still in pretty good shape across the grill that is in really good shape for the year it's like a dent down here in the front though a little screw missing chip there in the chrome coming down the side 
little spot there. Scuff on the bottom, up and over. Tires on this thing look awesome. Same with the wheels, nice and clean. A little blemish in the paint there. Coming down the side, little spot. Little chips. Vacuum midsection. It's bolted in there. It does look like it's sticking out a little bit. Probably aftermarket. Spot there. Back up over the top. Spot there. Line in your paint here. See it? So, a little bit of pitting on your handle. Over the top of the bed rails. Got some cracks right here in the paint. I'll jump up in the bed here in a minute. Light scratch on the front windshield. You can see it kind of from the windshield wipers grazed across there. Don't see any chips though. Tailgate. In decent shape. Little chip here. Mark there on the edge. Back bumper looks older too, a little bit of pitting. Down with the tailgate there. Popping up in the bed. It's in pretty good shape. It's not completely sealed on this back window though. You can see they've got a little piece of metal in there and I think, yeah, I can slide it open. Needs a uh, new center piece where you can lock it over the top in the cab. Little chips around that light. The cracks here. And they're tight coming down this side. Back that midsection. A little paint missing there on your trim. Spot there. This truck's got an awesome paint job on it. A little chip there. Hitting on your handle. Somebody's definitely redone it. Oh, got a little run mark there on the front. You see it? Back here as well. Up over the top front windshield.
He was messing with me and opened my mirror up before I left. You've got some little cracks right here in your seal around your vent window. But of course, we made it around the truck. Let's go ahead and open her up and uh, look at that interior. See what else we can find. I just noticed there's change all over the ground over here. Let's look under this door panel here. Jams look good. The seal looks good. The seat in this one, pretty good shape. See if I can lift it up. Hey, a hood prop. <laughs> Behind the seat. I brought my own though. Because the hood is not holding itself up. Cup holders. You can see that line a little bit better in from the inside. Starts right up. Your headliner is in great shape. A lot of room up, up under here. The cat's messed up. Washer fluid. Got a holly on it. That's good. Little spot there. Good deal. I tried to be as honest as I possibly could throughout this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit subscribe and share. We do this with all of the cars that we get in at the lot. We do have detailed pictures, financing, and shipping available at maplemotors.com. And I do appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you. See you later.